Hey, all you viewers of Beating Me Later. How are we doing today? I know, you're kind of sensing a theme recently. Seriously, I've had these things laying around for a little while. I don't know why I've never reviewed a bunch of Condor stuff till now. But we're going to get into it. As you know by that thumbnail image and everything else you clicked on, today we're going to take a look at the Condor. Where are you? Bush Glider. All right. Now, according to Condor, this is a perfect companion knife to take with you into the field to complement the other... Come on. You get out of the damn sheath, the other fixed blade you may be carrying with you. Now, I got this one in a PMP prep box a while ago, and if you're curious about everything that I've reviewed from the PMP prep box, take a look right up top. You're going to see a card for every single PMP prep box I've ever brought to the channel. I don't remember what month this one was in there, but yeah, so let's move on. I. I'm torn on these guys, I'll be honest with you, just before I get into everything. I don't think it's a bad blade. I think it's Condor's adapt adaptation of Amora trying to make it into something different from them. Now, yeah, that's from just it sitting around for a while. I mean, this thing is made of a high carbon steel, and that's my fault for really not taking that good care of it. It's been sitting in a box in a closet for almost two years now, I think. Don't quote me on that, but I didn't do any during the pan well the start of the pandemic. So yeah, seeing how we're coming up on what seven hundred days to two weeks to flatten the curve, but still enough of that. All right, let's get into the stats like we usually do. It's got an overall length of about nine inches. The blade's about four point two five. That means the handle's gonna come in at about four point seven five. It's got a very minor weight to it of four point five three ounces. Now what I like is that little swedge up front. It's going to give you great things for piercing and stabbing, which I think is really, really cool. You know, for a companion blade, could help with skinning and getting stuff started. Just a thought. It is done with a clip point style with some neat little aggressive jimping on the front to get you in there for close-up work, like I had said. I will say, though, if you press down on it a bunch, you're going to get the indentations. So that's why I say it's aggressive, and that really wasn't that hard. It does have a plain edge with a flat grind, and they call that their gray finish, but I don't... <sighs> Hopefully you can see it there. It's not stonewash. It looks like they tried to make it look like it was a forged blade, and it just... It doesn't come out looking that good. It just doesn't to me. I know somebody out there is going to love it. I don't. I really, truly don't. The blade steel is 1095 high carbon steel, and according to Condor, it's got about a 50 to 55 Rockwell rating. We do have a plastic handle. You can carry this thing left hand, right hand carry, but the one that gets me, as you saw with the opening, you want to, you want to, yeah, you really want to hear that click, like the Moras do. But I'm having an issue smooth pulling it out. The sheath is made of polymer, and everything was made in El Salvador. All right, let's do the cut tests that we usually love to do here on the channel. We usually only do three. And why do we do these three? Take a look right up top. You're going to see a card for why I do the cut tests. First up, as usual, heavy-duty stock paper. Oh, that just, that stutter in the beginning. Seriously, this blade has not been touched since I did the review of the PMP prep box. It hasn't been touched since that opening. Let's see if we can get a curly cue. Alright. Nope. Let's just stop right there. Lots of snowfall, so that blade needs some work, which really upsets me. Basically, this thing's fresh out of the package. It should not need that much work. Alright, the River's Revenge. Nope. <laughs> Didn't even scratch the paracord with a pull. That slice went somewhat okay, but yeah, let's see how we get a bigger one across the two. I'll let you judge. Some of that looks clean, some of that looks ugly as crap to me. 
the man of the hour, Mr. Ratchet Strap. I'm actually surprised with that. All right, take a look at the blade. Of course, ratchet strap cleans up everything, right? Oh, nope, there's some snowfall way up towards the front. Okay, still. All right, now. Whew, sorry. Lost my train of thought. I did the homework and all the fun stuff on this guy on January 20th, 2022, and it is currently January 24th, 2022. I found it on Amazon Condor and Blade HQ. On Blade HQ, it's $45.88. Condor, it's $47.72 with two thumbs ups. Condor does not do a number rating system. On Amazon, it is Prime eligible at $42.48 with a 3.8 out of 5 star rating and 14 reviews. Now we're at the best part of the video for me. Is it a noise or an F-bomb? Noise or an F-bomb? I don't like it. I'm giving it an F-bomb. I know somebody out there is really going to like it. I don't. I just think it's Condor's attempt to do a Mora. And if you're going to do a Mora blade, at least do it right. That's my opinion. I know somebody else out there is going to have a vastly drastically different one, and that's totally okay. Now, if I made you laugh, made you cry, made you do anything during this video, please hit that big old thumbs up. It's only going to help trigger that wonderful algorithm and help get this channel exposed to some more people. I know, it sounds bad, but you know what I mean, okay? Don't go to the dirty place. Come on, jeez. <laughs> Now, for you first-time viewers of my channel, I just want to say, hey, thank you so much for viewing this video. Look, I know you've got lots of options out there on YouTube, and I'm very, very grateful that you chose my channel today. Okay, now, for you first-time viewers and you long-time viewers who have yet to subscribe, well, my question's why. What can I do to earn your subscription? Seriously, leave me a comment right down below. Let's see how we can implement that into a future video. Okay, now, in just a moment, Take a look right down there. You're going to see a big channel symbol popping up. Go ahead, click on that thing. It's going to bring you right to subscribe. One click, easy access. See, make it as simple as possible, right? After you've knocked that out of the park, please destroy the little bell icon that's right next to it. Why? Great question. Because that will let YouTube notify you every single time this channel uploads a brand new video. Now, speaking of those videos that we love so much out there on YouTube... Two will be popping up somewhere over here. Those are going to be videos that YouTube is going to select from my current catalog that they feel is going to be a great viewing experience for you. But there we go, guys. My quick tabletop look at the Condor Bush Glider. Thank you so much for watching. I hope all of you are having a great day, a safe day, and I'll see all of you in our very next video.